Sunday morning in Central Park with the Burnaby Association of Marine Modelers. Let's talk to the president and see what's up today. Welcome to uh, Burnaby Association of Marine Modelers. Yeah, uh, about a month ago, um, there was a report of a snakehead fish in the pond. It's uh, an invasive species, not something local. And um, the local authorities wanted to eradicate the fish before it found its way into the Fraser River. That could have been a real problem. So the pond was drained down to about 18 inches and it's taken a month to get back to the level where we are now. But we're hoping it will be up in time for the regatta in August. So what kind of boats do you think we're going to see out today? There'll be a mixture of working boats. We have uh, a few steamboats in the club now, so hopefully we'll be able to see one of those today. And uh, of course Gary will be here with some of his new toys. He's always working on new projects, new boats. Real inspiration. All right, we're with Steve here, and he's got a really classic steamer model here. What can you tell us about it? Uh, it's a turn-of-the-century Scottish herring fishing boat. Uh, it's a live steam engine, uh, fired with butane, sort of cobbled together, engine from America, boilers from Japan. It's got a nice, beautiful trail. Yeah, I'm still building it. It's, it's almost complete. So this has a mechanical transmission out, I have to assume. Uh, yeah, there's just one servo running everything at uh, forward and reverse and throttle. But it's quite a large engine in this, so it uh, runs out of uh, water pretty quickly, the boilers. You only get about 10 to 15 minutes running time out of it. Uh. That's a beautiful mechanism in there. A lot of brass and machine work and moving pistons. Very reliable. And the only other control is the rudder. I'll probably add a few more details onto it and complete the uh, build of the boat and uh, move on to another one. Very beautiful model. Thanks a lot for showing us. As usual, we brought out another interesting work subject from the rivers and the oceans. Well, this is a sidewinder boat. Uh, it's usually found in the booming grounds around the BC Waterway and that in the Fraser River there's a lot of them. This particular one is called a sidewinder. It's a single, small, the real vessels are about 18 feet long. It's a Z-Peller drive up at the front. Some of these vessels are designed so when the tide goes out, they stay standing on the beach by themselves and the water comes back in so they don't roll over. It's basically a garbage can with a motor around it or a motor inside a garbage can, just enough to keep it afloat. Most of the guys, when they, they're combing on the side, keeps the water from coming into the compartment and such. The operator can then has a gas pedal for the throttle and that's it and a steering wheel with a suicide knob on it like a fork truck would have. And in the past, most of the subjects we filmed are ones that you've done one-offs of. You actually are producing this as a kit? Yeah. So is it going to be a plan kit where you build from plans or you actually got some pre-made fabricated parts I, to go I with I do it? the fiberglass, all the parts and pieces that you see right there. The house, the seat, the motor cover, the grid and the back, this exhaust stack. I am planning on putting the teeth onto it as well. Okay, so anybody with basic modeling skills would probably put one yeah. of these together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll bring it out of the water. So can... Looking at a boat's one thing when you're on the surface, but when you bring it out of the water, it's a lot different. It's just a little Grotner drive. A lot of them have a lot more detail around in the metal cage, but I made it a little simpler so that it's easier to put it in and out. I'll just leave it open at the bottom so the drive can come in and out. When I did the top on it, the first time I did the top, I left it without any sort of a combing around it. In the bottom of the house, I put a bunch of rubber around it mm -hmm. to try and get rid of the water from coming in. But as we still see, uh, we've got a little bit of water still coming in. You can basically see the basic layout in the inside. And the nickel methyl hydrates there in the battery. Most of the models, I made it three quarter inch foot because it's making it a bigger size. Mm -hmm. I also have one of them in three eighths foot, which is half the size of this. I don't have that one here with me though, but a fellow a long time ago had them and made them uh, and he passed away. So I've brought the kit and I'm going to bring it back to life. It uses a dental drive, one of these little things for the dentist okay. and that as the drive mechanism that goes in it. Mm -hmm. This will be vacuum formed in uh, styrene plastic and such. The problem with going smaller is that uh, in, a, in the sake of a pond or whatever, and that, mm -hmm. right now we're relatively flat. 
in smaller in scale, the waves that are on the pond right now are, you gotta remember, are the same as scale as what the boat is. Well, the weather held out. We had a little bit of mist on the water, a little bit of sprinkle of rain, but all in all, a good day at the pond. Thanks for watching.